If you have ear infections, sinusitis, even strep throat, penicillin is the most <clears throat> effective antibiotic treatment in the U.S. But now we're learning the majority of patients who believe they're allergic to penicillin really aren't. Here to explain where this misunderstanding comes from and how that can impact your treatment is Dr. Rena Mehta. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, this is new information that's just coming out, right? So allergists have known this information for a long time, but other medical specialties are now learning this as well. In a recent article published this month in JAMA, they reported that actually 32 million people who are labeled with a penicillin allergy, out of those, over 90% of them can actually take penicillin safely. All right, so those people who are labeled with the allergy or think they're allergic, that's not too great because penicillin is the go-to drug, right? Penicillin is the oldest antibiotic and is still an effective treatment choice for many infections, many common infections. And so if you are avoiding penicillin and favoring other antibiotics, there are things that can make this risky and inconvenient. So by taking other antibiotics instead of penicillin, it's more expensive. You can get antibiotic resistance and treatment failures. And penicillin is the most tolerated antibiotic. And so taking other antibiotics can actually lead to more side effects. And sometimes people get an upset stomach or get um, adverse reactions to the antibiotic, antibiotic and they think, that's because they're allergic to it, and that may not be. And that's exactly why we're seeing that over 90% of people who think they're allergic to penicillin are not, because of things like that. People and doctors often mischaracterize an adverse reaction with an allergic reaction. So a stomach ache, from, which is a common side effect of many antibiotics, mm -hmm. actually can be labeled as penicillin allergy. you got to eat before you take an <laughs> antibiotic, for sure, Right. at least most cases. All right, what do people do to know if they're really allergic or not? So this is a common thing that I see in my clinic as an allergist, is that you see a patient who thinks that they have this history of penicillin allergy, and it's really easy to figure out. With a careful history and penicillin skin testing, you can find out within 30 minutes whether you're allergic to penicillin. Really? So it's just a prick or so? So it's a skin test that actually takes each ingredient of penicillin and puts it on your skin. Then you prick it, and if you develop a hive where the skin test was placed, it means you're allergic. Huh. If you have a negative skin test, there's almost a 100% chance that you're not allergic to penicillin. All right. Well, that that's an incredibly easy way to find and out. And it's safe to do on pretty much everyone, children, pregnant women. So really, it's important to really find out if you have that penicillin allergy so that you can take that drug of choice when you need it. Exactly. A wonder drug that could also be available to you if you find the information out. Thank exactly. you so much.